and all these things, it's not a significant difference. And part of the question that this book raises is, how can we be set apart? And how can we be a people who are set apart if when we look at the data, it doesn't look like we are? It doesn't look like we're any different. What has been going on, what has been going on that's missing? One, the one thing that he points out is a term coined by Dietrich Bonhoeffer called cheap grace. That is where the gospel is simplified down to simply fire insurance and down to just this one act that Jesus Christ did and then we're justified and we're done. That is justification. That part is true, but that's not the whole story. You're justified. You're justified before God because of Jesus Christ dying on the cross. And so that when you die, you do not have to go to hell. You get to go with God into heaven. But there's a lifetime in between. And there's how we are to live out our faith and let people know that we are different. And so what is missing in this cheap grace is the idea of sanctification. The idea of being sanctified. Continually going through a continual ongoing process that doesn't stop. A continuing ongoing process towards being more Christ-like. Being sanctified. We live out our life this way. Ever trying, ever trying to live out this very passage. Loving our enemies sharing with those who are in need, sharing with all those who are in need, and doing everything that we can to share that love of Christ. That is out of response for that justification that we have received, that thankfulness that we have, that we do not have to die and not be part of the kingdom of God, but rather, but rather now that thankfulness we are ever going towards sanctification and doing these things just like last week. Just like last week, we have the son who said the right thing. He knew the right words. When his father told him, go today and work in the vineyard, go today and work in Israel, proclaiming my name. He said, yes, sir, I will. He knew what to say. He knew how to say it. But he didn't do it. He knew what to say. He knew how to say it. But he didn't do it. And his attitude, like I said last week, very well could have been that of many people who do that very thing. That idea that I'm saying the right thing. But when I do the wrong thing, my father's going to be there to accept my apology. My father's there and going to forgive me. And so in anticipation of that, this is also a part of cheap grace, in anticipation of that, they say the right thing, but have no intention of doing it. They say the right thing, no intention of doing it. As a matter of fact, just like all those who are in the statistics, being no different than the world, they say, I'm going to be forgiven anyway. So why not do it? The sanctification, this idea of being sanctified, this idea is to seek out our salvation with fear and trembling, as Philippians says. To go about our days and being the church, wanting to be set apart, and knowing that it is not in our own power to do it. Again, that's coming back to this idea. Whereas being the church, we need to shift our priorities and shift our perspective from being egocentric and self-centered to being theocentric and God-centered being a servant of Jesus Christ. This whole attitude is about being the center, where that center is, and that center is in Jesus Christ. And that's living out this life that Jesus talks about here. You live out this life and you're going to be set apart. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, because He is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. 
Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured out into your lap. For the measure you use, it will be measured to you. We are to be different. We are to be set apart. We are to proclaim Jesus Christ as our Lord and the center of our lives. And as we go about this, we will continually be sanctified. We have already been justified by what Jesus Christ has done. As we live out our lives and as we live out this attitude of being this church, it's going to be a lot more than just talk. Because there's a lot of people who know the right words. All these people in these statistics knew the right words. They answered the surveys proclaiming that they were a Christian. Believing all these things. And yet, they were no better than the world. It's do the right thing. Not just say the right thing. And as we do the right thing, as we live out this life, it brings the glory back to Jesus Christ. And as we live out our lives, it doesn't necessarily get easier on us to be able to do it. But what we do have is the grace of Jesus Christ and the power of an almighty God behind us so that we may know that it's not us who is doing it, but it is God who is being it. Amen.